on the road to the Sagaharwa housing area from Camp Zama. Hi, just wanted to provide a little bit of an orientation for anyone who may be having to travel from Camp Zama to the housing area located uh, several kilometers away. I thought I'd uh, make this video here so you could uh, note some of the landmarks. We've just left the Gate 4, which is uh, actually, excuse me, Gate 7, which is located right next to the uh, golf course. Uh, so you exit uh, the gate and you head on down the road here and hit your first stop sign, uh, stoplight. Um, when we get to a uh, stoplight and I gotta stop for a while, I think I'll just uh, stop the video. Uh, no need to uh, run that. But as long as I'm uh, making progress here, I'll just uh, keep the keep the camera rolling, so to speak. Uh, for the most part, uh, several kilometers is uh, straight uh, right out of the gate. Uh, no turns or anything like that. Uh, got a fire station right here on the right. Earlier I didn't mention it, just as you leave the gate there is a uh, high school or a junior high school there. Uh, so uh, easy enough to identify. And then we just got to that one uh, intersection there and past the fire station on your right as we're heading from Camp Zama to the housing area coming up here on our next traffic light. For the most part I found this route to be uh, much better than riding, driving on uh, Highway 51 which goes in front of the uh, main gate, uh, gate one to the uh, housing area. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of traffic uh, through Zama City and uh, the other uh, small communities uh, between uh, the camp and the housing area there. Uh, speed limit is 40 kilometers. Uh, the streets are rather narrow so a small car is uh, advised uh, when you're, you're traveling. And you get a look at the, uh, the local housing area and the, the situation. Uh, maybe another prominent landmark to uh, guide you in your travels is this uh, rather prominent uh, electrical uh, tower located right here. Now when you're driving you probably won't want to have the uh, video playing and so forth but you can pick up a uh, map at the Camp Zama Lodge to uh, guide your way and it has these prominent landmarks. Looks like I'm going to be here for a minute. This is a busy intersection. I'm going to turn the video off and we'll resume on the other side.